What is the difference between classical and modern physics? Have you ever wondered how physicists used to understand the world compared to how they do now? Let's dive into the differences between classical and modern physics. Classical physics is all about the big things we can see and touch. It deals with the motion of objects, forces, and energy on a scale that we can observe with our naked eyes. This branch of physics includes mechanics, electromagnetism, thermodynamics, and wave phenomena. It's based on laws like Newton's laws of motion, which tell us how objects move and respond to forces. These laws are deterministic, meaning if you know the starting conditions, you can predict exactly what will happen next. On the other hand, modern physics is all about the tiny things we can't see, like atoms and subatomic particles. It started to take shape in the early 1900s with revolutionary ideas from scientists like Einstein, Planck, and Heisenberg. Modern physics includes quantum mechanics and relativity, which describe how tiny particles and objects moving at high speeds behave. Unlike classical physics, modern physics is not deterministic. Instead, it's based on probabilities. This means that instead of saying something will definitely happen, physicists say there's a certain chance it will happen. For example, classical physics can explain how a ball rolls down a hill, but it can't explain what happens inside an atom. Modern physics, however, can tell us about the behavior of electrons and protons inside an atom, even though we can't see them. Classical physics works well for everyday life, but it breaks down when dealing with very small scales, high speeds, or strong gravitational fields. Modern physics fills in these gaps by providing accurate descriptions of matter and energy at these extreme conditions. So to put it simply, classical physics is about the big visible world, while modern physics is about the tiny invisible world, and each has its own set of rules and ways of understanding how things work. 